Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Adventure Archive. It's been a while since we've played a game here, but we're back. Uh, sorry, I had some technical difficulties, so um, that is why we are late. But anyway, uh, tonight is Death in Space. It is hopefully the conclusion of Search and Salvage, the uh, pamphlet adventure that came along with the Kickstarter. But before we begin, let's thank some people. So um, we got McGlintlock. Go check him out at glumdark.com. He made this uh, fine foundry system and I was an idiot and upgraded Foundry, and I saw there was an incompatibility thing, but so far, so good. So if there's going to be some weird stuff happening, it's all my fault, not his. Uh, obviously, the uh, Death in Space creators and community for all the support. Appreciate it, as always. Um, Helium Kid Cannon and Solar Fields for the cool soundtrack. And that's all I got. Thank you, guys. We got uh, Jess here as Ingrid. We got Ryan as Austin. Ducky as Novus. And Christian L2 as... Haroje. So we're going to get right into it. Um, anything to say, anybody, before I begin the recap? Because I know you guys probably need a recap. I think we got it. We got our ass kicked and then ran away. I think that's what it yeah. was, right? That's, that's basically what happened. Yeah. So I yep. guess I don't need to recap it. No. I mean, it may be a very mild recap. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'll give you guys, For the I'll viewers, give, I'll give you guys a recap. So. Um, these fine folks of this crew, um, they got a distress signal and they went to go investigate. They found a der derelict ship. It seemed like it was in low power mode. It shut down. So they went to go investigate further, uh, and discovered, um, in, in fact, the, the ship was in low power mode, seemingly abandoned. They did some exploration. They found the engine room where they also found these EMP spears in the engine, which presumably was <laughs> shutting it down. They took those out, the engine uh, restarted, all power came online, and with that power, they heard the voice of Aoki, which was a, um, a kidnapped artificial intelligence that this uh, whoever this crew on the ship took, they stole from another ship that they raided, brought to their ship, and then they, the, the crew learned that uh, Aoki soon kind of locked herself in the computer center and shut everything down and started making... Uh, blew up the med bay essentially started wreaking havoc on the entire ship and so to uh salvage what was left of their ship the um these scavengers basically threw these emp spears into it to shut everything down and so they're trying to figure things out maybe but anyway the players encountered them everything was on high alert there was a massive firefight they just had to retreat back to the ship now they're regrouping where we are now so uh, you guys are still, you guys uh, docked, re, you undocked, undocked, is there an official term for that? What's the official term? Um, back, you got some distance, you healed, you recouped everything, resupplied, and now you guys decided, I believe, to go back. Is that right? Yeah, we, yep. we unned up. There was like talk about potentially creating like explosives or throwing oil and fire or something like that at the. Oh you know, yeah, the, what was your guys' yeah. plan? You guys had a crazy plan. Uh, wasn't it to fill up the extra suit with oil? Tie off the. Thought oil about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, bomb man. Mm. Yeah, big boom boy. Yeah, I think that's how we, we ended, was just, like, coming up with a bunch, like, a few crazy ideas. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Crazy cool. Crazy cool. So, yeah, you guys are hanging out, uh, observing this, um, the ship that, again, is, is back in low power mode. So, you see these, these, uh, these pulsing lights. You see, I, I kind of labeled, I think we were talking about, you guys wanted to get an idea of where the bridge was versus where the med bay was, where the, uh, the hull had been breached so you guys kind of like get get oriented orient yourself where everything was but all that's left now to do is drive the ship or fly the ship to reconnect if that's what you'd like to do or if you'd like to approach this a different way let me know I, I think that sounds like a good plan. I think the point was to uh, throw that in there, 
pull some people away and then shoot in and just try to book to the bridge. Uh, but did we want to do that XP thing real quick though? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let me bring the book up here. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to announce it on the Discord, on our Discord too. I got you, son. You got it. Thank you, man. All right, <laughs> so. I'm also rocking this bad boy now. Oh, look at that big old free league logo. I ordered one. I didn't get that one though. I got the, uh, yeah, just the one across the chest. So that should be. It's supposed I know. To be I know you don't like the big circle. I will say it's a fucking big circle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I knew it was gonna be big. It's but like it's a like, pizza. It's huge. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> it's huge. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Rock the free league. Yeah, for whatever reason, man. I because I I used to do t-shirts years and years ago and. Circles just look you. huge, man. They look huge. Well, good to know. Uh, well, now you know. Now you know. You just have to circle it and you're better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think it's on page 60. It's like 60 or 66. Yeah. Never remember which. But also the hype, the, the PDF is incredibly well hyperlinked. It is, it is, it is. I found it, it is on page 60. So advancement, I got to ask you guys some questions and then uh, just note uh, you get an experience point per affirmative. So did you guys repair anything? I don't remember, did you? It's been a while. Well, I mean, technically the, the, the engine when we took the spears out of it. Yeah. So uh, well, so game. repair in this game is to use a component to repair something so it's yeah. a game mechanic so i don't believe anyone's repaired anything okay. um did you deliver on a dangerous contract not yet well this isn't really a contract but not, not nothing so far did you use at least one void point i believe most if not all of you did because that was there's some crazy combat going on mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, i like the quotes you're quoting me here <laughs> you're trolling me with stained quotes <laughs> well you said it i know i said it um okay did you discover a new and potentially dangerous dangerous place yeah i would say so um did you gain a new enemy uh probably a lot so yes uh did you find someone new that you can trust i don't know about that do you think yeah, you can I trust I think the ai no i don't think so yeah okay uh Trust finally you. did you contribute with something especially memorable does anybody remember anything interesting that happened last time i don't remember we all kind of <laughs> we all kind of did something cool i think we should all get experience points how many did you guys get so far uh three. i mean I, like three for me yeah yeah okay that's good. Is anybody uh, cashing any of those in? Uh, I need to look at my XP. Why, where is my XP? Oh, I think... Are we sure we didn't do this already? Because I'm down to one XP. Well, you guys may have... I don't know. You know what? We did that We did that a session before that, like at the beginning of, the, of this last session, we cashed in. And then we played the session and we didn't do XP at the end of the gotcha. session. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. That works. Either yeah. way, it works for me. Cause I think I got, I put some points in, in decks and I, and I increased my max, my max points, I think. So my okay. armor is now only minus one and my hit points are up to 10. So we're doing much better now. We learned from our ass kicking. <laughs> yeah. You know, that is true. That is true. So, how are you guys liking the uh, just upgrade whenever you want to system? Great. That's cool. I definitely very much prefer it. <laughs> yeah, than the, yeah, exactly, the milestones and stuff. Okay, so again, we are, uh, you guys are observing this ship from afar. What would you like to do? Well, uh, I guess we get the, if we're going to do the, the bomb boy idea. Uh, we could fill it up with that fuel. Um, I have a, con I don't know if 
I don't know if engine grease counts, but we could definitely. It's probably flammable. I could probably I throw know. that into the concoction. I, it's probably just a, like a can of it, but that's one thing I can throw in. And then, um, do we know what kind of what is there a quantity system for uh, fuel? Do you mean? Uh, oh, we just got a raid. Welcome, oh. lords and ladies of fate. We are playing Death in Space, clearly. So the players um, are observing a derelict ship. They've already uh, passed through that once and, and, and basically encountered a firefight, retreated, beaten and bloody. Uh, they are going back again to hopefully uh, retrieve this, uh, this kidnapped AI and perhaps get revenge on the crew that the, these uh, scavengers killed. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. So thank you so much for hanging out. Um, Anyway, we'll, we'll back to it. So what were you saying, L2? Uh, so what's the fuel system like? Like, because I'm thinking like maybe we we unload like a, a smidgen of uh, fuel now to really make it, you know, go boom. Or oh, really from your ship? Yeah. Like, is it, is it, is it like... So basically, yeah, fuel, fuel, if I remember yeah. correctly, uh, I think fuel, the way that works this game, if you're, if you're, if you're moving in system... It doesn't use fuel. It's like when you're traveling vast distances. So gotcha. um, we can actually check and see what's up with your ship. Spacecraft. Layout. I think it's acting more as a diversion. Yeah, you guys that. have... Um, okay. Yeah, your conditions five, fuel, frame, current six, output power. Yeah, I mean, I'll just, it's a hand wavy thing. I'm not going to be, you okay. know, if you guys want to take some of your fuel and fill an EVA suit with it, that's cool. Well, yeah, I mean, I think the amount of fuel that fills a ship and the amount of fuel that would fill like yes. a, a, basically a human bag. It's not be minuscule. negligible. Exactly. Yeah. Negligible. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's fine then. Yeah. So, you know, I guess I'll, I'll go over to wherever one of the, um, the fuel reservoirs is and the, you know, Okay. On the, um, I guess it's uh, the port side of the ship. I think I got that right. And then, um, you know, hook up a conduit, or like just through the head hole of the of the suit. Maybe find a way to seal it up, and you know, fill it and add the engine grease in there too. What the hell? Just you know, just so that you know, <laughs> maybe maybe coat the the top of it with the engine grease too, so it's already on fire when we throw it. Something like that okay yeah. yeah yeah so are you are you how much are you filling this thing up are you is, is it like bubble boy filled filled up or just kind of like getting it saturated and just sort of sloshing around in there a little bit get it sloshing around maybe the legs are full but you know everything okay. else you know okay. it, that, that that'll probably be more than enough especially if it's like ship fuel so yeah yeah for sure i i'm sure i don't need much more than that it'll just you know yeah okay so you guys take care of that you got your um, fuel bag <laughs> ready. <laughs> um, what are you guys doing about equipment? Are you guys just, you have your weapons and. Yeah, we armed up at yeah. the end of last session. So we're already kitted out, but just waiting to. Yeah, keep waiting ready. to go, waiting to go. Okay. Passed everything. I went, a couple of people got shotties, right? And a couple of people got pistols. Yeah. 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 yeah I would just double check your, um, yeah. your character sheet just to make sure everything's. I have a full uh, pistol, an empty pistol, and a raid rifle um, that's got six shots left. So in case yeah. we find some other stuff, I can at least steal some bullets. I got a pistol with three and a shotgun with two. So. Okay. Ingrid, are you piloting the ship to the airlock? Uh, yeah. Okay. That way. I have a question, Jason. Yeah. If I'm using a gun weapon as melee does it still count under my tech or does it now count under body because i'm using physical force uh that would be body yeah so okay. so tech so is it, only yeah, if it's it a projectile transfer. exactly you're using a, okay. a technology as intended essentially so yeah, yeah. okay All right. just making sure okay so you guys uh make it down let's see here let me get this squared up here 
Wait, 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 wait. I thought we were going to throw the body oh, at you're gonna the bridge do something. from outside. Yeah. Oh, that's what you are going to do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we were going to chuck it into the bridge to make an explosion on the bridge to try to get people to, like, go towards the bridge. And then uh -huh. and then we dock real quick and go in. All right. Because at the very least, they have to back. put the fire out, you know? Let's that's my back. thought, at least. Well, the um, just so you know, the breach is it's it's um, it's open space, so mm. no oxygen. Right. Explode. Uh, fire will not last. Out there. Yeah. It'll last as long as the fuel lasts, I guess. Depends on how long jet fuel. I mean, it can burn steel beams. It's got to at least burn. <laughs> <laughs> burn the bridge. Burn the bridge. Wow. Right? Was that a nine eleven joke? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> wow. I don't think I've heard a 9-11 joke in a while. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Was um, that a 9-11 <laughs> joke burn? <laughs> yeah. That's, no. like, that's what it was. <laughs> it's like a joke about 9-11 jokes. Yeah. We're getting mad at you guys. Oh, um, no. It'll absolutely burn if it has fuel. Yeah. We got um, no air, no fire. Yeah. Sorry, Austin. Holy shit. I don't. I don't know. I mean, what I, fantasy sometimes is so much easier because you you know the the laws of physics are more or less the same. So. Well, we could will, will we, there... could, we could do the docking procedure, give it a, and and immediately like toss it in, and fire, and it'll be at least like a a fire screen. I don't know if that's helpful or hindering, but. Well, I was going to say, if we don't throw it at the ship somewhere, it's kind of pointless to have a bag of fuel carrying with us when people are going to shoot at us. It just feels... No, I know. know. I know. I, I'm not sure where they're waiting for us. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because, yeah, throwing it elsewhere would be would be better. Um, the breach had some sort of patchwork sealed area, right? Yeah. Okay, so, so I did find the answer. It sounds like you need an oxidizer and fuel. So if there's no oxygen, there's no fire. Yeah, okay. So, um... Well, then I say we leave our bag of fuel on the ship and just hit it and quit it and just run into this thing and, and get cruising. Yeah, or you could drag this thing. I, I don't know why I'm helping you guys, but you could drag this thing in there, set up a trap, Set up like yeah. a scarecrow of sorts, right? <laughs> right. And then, but, yeah. but when we went in before, there's the original area. Then there's like the engine room to the right, and what right. I assume is probably the way we need to go to the left, based on what Aoki said. So, do we, if we blow the engine room up versus blow up the area to the left, it's like which direction are we screwing ourselves in? Well, hold on, we can. It, it remember it's not a complete it's not it's not a EVA suit completely full of fuel. I only filled it up to the legs. So if we we you know close it off and make sure there's some air in there, would that be enough to at least do a bit of a bit of combustion in space against the surface enough to rattle them and make them think? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I guess if you had like a yeah. yeah. Like an air compression, like right. way way of like just making a balloon man with the rest of it. Yeah. yeah. Is there an oxygen I mean, we have tank on the suit. There has to be because we use it to go out in space, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So there's definitely like a like an opening that does something, and you can fill it up at least. Yeah. Because no one's breathing in it. It's and just where, gonna, which suit did, yeah. was this you're using? Is it one that you you killed a guy right? The guy you shot it's, him in the head. Yeah, it was, it was the one with the, the broken helmet. Guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there you go. There's O2 on the uh, the tank, yeah. and then the stuff in. So we chuck it against whatever door is there, blow it up, and then dock real quick and go. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are trying to good. start some kind of combustion in the med bay, <laughs> and then swinging the ship around and docking, hoping it's going to drive those people. To that direction. Mm, yep. Okay. Okay. So, what are you guys doing? Are you guys one of you guys opening the airlock with a suit on and like 
just pushing it out in that direction or what's the plan or, or is one of you guys like are you guys bringing the ship close to the breach and like i guess the proximity what, what's the plan I guess bring the 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 airlock of the ship as close to the breach okay. as safely as possible, and then like yeah, try to you know uh, push it in, you know, open the door and push it in. Okay. Okay. And one of us is gonna have to crack shot. Yeah. Okay. So as you guys make your way over to the med bay, you can see into the breach. Um, there's a locked door um, to the. Oh shit, I don't know what direction this would be, but like inside, you can see um, a doorway. You can see some equipment that is just kind of strewn about, uh, damaged. There's just some debris kind of floating there, but you also do see a um, a smaller airlock. It's like a. Um, a plastic quarantine airlock that is not damaged. So it's almost like there's this this yeah. uh, kind of a tube inside, like a, like an inner wall. It looks like it's just a you know keep all of it, keep everything pressurized or whatever. Yeah. Um, but that's intact. You can see that it, it appears as if somebody assembled this stuff like after the explosion happened, just to kind of. Plug up that area, I guess. And the, the there's like display indicators showing it's like active, like it. Yeah. The, it, the lights are blinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. That that could be a good target because that's just more air to fuel the fire. So, um, I guess we push up everything up. You know, now it is. Yeah. We push up everything up against that and have at it. So is anybody going to go in and drop it off? Or are you guys going to just sort of be in the airlock for distance away and just shove it? Um, I have an EBA suit. I could, yeah, I could go and do it. Um, you know, I'm pretty used to this kind of thing. You getting out, float of the, out. Uh, you could float out yeah. over there and float back. Yeah, set something up. However yeah. you want to do it. All right. So, you know. Gonna slip into the suit, keep the keep the boots off, so I'm all floaty, and uh, yeah, slowly nurse these uh, things in close to that uh, quarantine airlock. Okay. Is anybody yeah. else doing anything like support, or are you guys just kind of hanging back like, while he does this? I thing? probably probably would want like a cable rig, so I'm not like just open in space. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. I was wondering if somebody's yeah. you're like. Let's go, guys, and you just keep floating, and just that's <laughs> yeah. it. No. You're done. So, want to be a lead for me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I believe you're it. using a light suit. Is that yeah, correct? You're right. It's fine. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. Really, so, there's no suit. thrusters on a light suit. I know on no. the heavy there is. There are thrusters. Yeah, nitrogen pro propelled thrusters. So, yeah, you're gonna need some kind of momentum to get you going, and then hopefully like a tether for someone to pull you back. Okay. Um, would we say that there's something to that effect nearby or already part of the ship, or uh, is that something you want us to patchwork together in terms of like a cable, a leading cable or something? Yeah, I, yeah, I'll say there's there's something there for sure that you guys okay. can. Yeah, whatever you guys want, it's not a. Not a big deal. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure you yeah. guys were planning on doing Someone's that. Someone's spotting all. me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Who's going to spot me? I'm, I, I got this. I just, you know, I got to put it over there. Yeah. Uh, Felix is, hell, he's, uh, he's giving you guys tips in the chat. There we go. Some anchor yeah, points. Yeah. I mean, I'll spot him, obviously. Simple. We are not monsters. I think uh, I have a suit too. Yeah. So, I mean, however you guys want to do it, you guys could, you know, like, Austin could sort of clamp himself to the hull of your ship, hold the tether, however you guys want to do it. Yeah. And you guys might have magnetic that. boots, right? Yeah. I want to stay a little bit more. I guess it's uh I guess it's <laughs> interchangeable, so I can yeah, I can keep my mag boots on soon. I like how he's all frayed cables to make stuff interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Okay, so Ingrid, you are a pilot of the ship. You guys are just sort of hanging out there. Novus, are you just sort of hanging out? And then Austin's going to help uh, Hiroje do that? Okay. Okay. All right, so you guys are on the exterior of the ship, ready to go. I'm guessing you take a leap of faith. Yep, you make I it give into a the, pull. Yeah, you make it Checking to the... Checking tug area. to make sure everything's taut with the cable, and then there's a little bit of uh, slack all of a sudden, and as soon as I feel that, I do the push-off while I'm holding. Uh, holding the, the fuel-filled suit by its love handles. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and leading it in uh, to the med bay by the quarantine chamber. Okay. So you you make it in there. It's dark. There's nobody nobody around that you can see. There's a there's a um, an LED uh, light blinking on a on a door just ahead, farther into the med bay. And then, so we'll just pretend that's like north, and then to your west, to your left, would be um, the uh, the uh, the the other uh, airlock or the uh, what's it fucking called. The uh, plastic quarantine airlock. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's get ready to make some noise. So I, you know, I put it up against it and, uh, you know, it's pretty static and good where it is with the tank and everything. And I move back and, uh, can I, when I'm leaving the breach, can I still see the suit? Will I still be able to see the suit? Yeah, I'll I say. Where are you? Are you putting it right over? up against the uh, airlock? The the plastic I wanna one. I want to put it up. Yeah, I want to put it up right up against the airlock. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, and yeah. then I want to like get get to the threshold of the breach, like just on the outside of it, and maybe take the shot. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you do this, and you're just shooting it with your your. Yeah, handgun? I'm gonna. I'm gonna pull out my pistol. I'm gonna look at Austin, give him a little nod, and uh, I guess, it, yeah, I guess there'd be comms in this, so I'd just be like, you know, get ready to pull. So you guys are doing uh, some like I get you guys. By the way, the the um the suits you can communicate. Yeah. So there is definitely so, like a mic and stuff, speakers. Yeah. So when I shoot, pull, and then we we gotta run. <laughs> um, we gotta we gotta we gotta attack or do our thing. So uh, I go right at the outside of the threshold of this area. I take aim and I fire. Okay, you fire. And I'm guessing, Austin, are you pulling him back with the tether? Back to the ship? Yeah, just ripping, ripping him back. So yeah, mm -hmm. you rip him back, you lose, you have your gun pointed out in front of you, you fire, you see this flash of light as the suit ignites and you're just slowly drifting back like, I don't know, some crazy slow-mo action hero. <laughs> Big pushback from an explosion. <laughs> you guys should have recorded this with your uh, ship's surveillance. Okay, so you see that this um, this uh, this plastic airlock is just torn to shreds, and you got you stirred up a lot of the debris in there, starting to drift outside of the airlock and all that to hit it, moving with the momentum that you gave it, and you are back outside the airlock i guess so yeah so yeah i guess i got pulled in if everything's fine with that and, uh, and are you telling we'll rip ahead. him in slam the door and it's just like hit it grid <laughs> yeah yeah let's go <laughs> shoot all right, i man. peel out all right so you guys are going back to the airlock where you entered last time and exited is that right yep mm -hmm. okay so you guys make it there let me activate this thing Activate. Okay, so you guys she's find gonna, yourselves. What's up? No, I was gonna say she's probably doing that like interstellar thing where they have to dock while everything's kind of slowly moving. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Tick, exactly. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> okay, so you guys enter this familiar room. There's crates strewn about. There's that again, that low-powered kind of uh, light that's just pulsing overhead. Uh, still the uh, the dirty underwear crate. <laughs> is right there. Um, I however, forgot about that. <laughs> you forgot about that? Yeah. Was... How do you forget about that? <laughs> I don't know. 
the dog is sniffing at something. <laughs> cool. Okay. So you guys right. are here. Um, one thing you do notice though is, I don't know. Did you close the store or not? It is closed regardless of whatever you did. Okay. I'm pretty sure we closed all the doors on the way out to like yeah. create space or yeah. create a, a path. And you do see kind of this strange glitch. There's a little, there, you notice there's all these like calm panels outside of every one of these doors. And when you head up there, there's a, it's, it's almost like a, a Morse code glitch kind of thing. Hmm. In, in speak. Oh, I speak machine. <laughs> there's no way I don't know what this, if it's Morse code, I can imagine I can either talk to the machine and ask what it's saying, or I can, I know what well, it says. Yeah. It's one of those situations where it's like, it's, it's so low powered. It does appear as if something or someone is trying to communicate with you, but that's all, that's all you can tell. Because again, think, everything is like low, low power. All systems are, you know, basically just sort of life support systems are, are live. Well, as somebody who can talk to machines, can I talk to whatever this is? Yeah, you try to you try to jack into this thing, but again, you just feel like it, it's it's a little bit clearer than um, the signal is a little bit clearer than before. But you you sense that it is the AI trying to communicate with you. But you can't. It's it's very like uh, clipped clipped communication, clipped words, difficult to understand what she's saying. Gotcha. All right. Well, I we got to move fast and move hard. Two questions right off the bat before we open this door: Are we turning the lights on or not? I gotta clip that. What? <laughs> if you just listen to that in isolation, it's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> not the dick circle joke or 9 11, but we're gonna clip fast and hard. Let's <laughs> Dirty mind off. of jest. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I can't help it. <laughs> um, let's on, fuck it. <laughs> Lights on. Right, you guys so, are going. No, I don't you guys know. are going for it. Okay. I don't just see everything. Well, I guess. The second question we got flashlights is: Do we go back to that guy? The uh, to the left, we found a man like strung yeah. up. Yeah, in the control room. Yeah. Right. He could help us. That's what I'm saying. If we turn the lights on, we know they're going to come here fast, and we know that. But we know they they have to put that fire out. So yeah. we got we got to move. We got to move because they can put that out quicker than we think. If we stay in the dark, it's going to be a lot harder for them to find us. Well, let's let's get into the next room. If there's no one there, then we block up the door uh, that they probably went to the med bay with. It'll at least dwindle the numbers, and then we'll go straight left. All right. Everybody yeah. ready? Got them shotties out. Yeah, I got yeah, my pistol yeah. out. Yeah. All right. I'll lead. Open the so door. So you open the door, and I need you to roll me an agility check. Son of a bitch. It was trapped. <laughs> uh, agility. Uh, dexterity? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, it's not a pose. There's no void point. It's just regular roll, right? Um, yeah. So just exactly. Just click me, uh, the dexterity here. So 10 failure. Okay. So you see, as you open this door, there is a, which you didn't see in the darkness, but there's this kind of camouflaged bolt gun wedged in the side of the wall and it releases mm. this bolt out at you. And I need you to take four points of damage. That will fuck right off the start. <laughs> God fucking damn it. I'm just pushing through. Okay. Yeah, let's keep moving. Okay, so you guys make it to this cargo bay. Uh, everything's the same. There's broken glass and stuff all over. Which direction did you guys want to go? You guys so want to the This is room? where the... 
This is where the med bay was, right? This is what we want to block so off. So engine of room, you remember, is, yes, that way. That leads to the engine room. And the med bay is sort of north of the engine room a little bit. Right. So if you go it, to the east and then up. So, yeah. Yeah, so okay. we know they're so, that way. You know, yeah. Well, you hope so, oh. yeah. So let's let's put a bunch of these crates over here and then go left. Okay. So you guys are barricading this with some crates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me, uh, so I remember, let's throw some, some boxes. Uh, Novus, you check this door. Yeah. All right. Bandage Jerry. myself. You guys push some crates up against there. All right, Novus, you reach this door. It's closed. What would you like to do? Um... I'm going to slowly crack it open with the uh, end of my shotgun. Okay. I think we determined these were sort of like the whoosh doors, you the know, sliding like doors? They, they retract into the wall. So whoosh um, doors. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You slide it open. It's not locked or anything. Um, it's, it's pretty dark in here. Again, there's wires hanging from the ceiling. It's, it's very much how you remembered it, with the exception of the fact that there is nobody here that you can see. And the floor is all wire. It's all grating, all metal grating. You see a little bit of an indication of uh, your firefight before. I'm going to get to this corner here and try to peek up north. <clears throat> okay. So you peek up north and you see a very long, very dark corridor again. Uh, you can't really see to the end of it uh, so well, but you do not see anybody. No indications of like flashlights or anything like that? No, nothing. Okay. Uh, clear up north so far. I'll uh, come up and I'll peek around the corner to look south to see if that, because that was the room where the guy was in, I think. Correct. So you, uh, I'm going to move the uh, vision token out here. So you see a door and it is open. So you should be able to see right through it. You see this fellow, who you remember earlier, tangled up in the wires. His chin is to his chest, so you can't quite see anything. You see the top of his head. So his head's like, like he's been knocked out or he's asleep or something. And you also see um, in his lap, or near him actually, is a, um, a laptop. And it's got a smash screen. I look back at the other two and I go, he's still here. And um, I'll carefully make my way down, kind of check the, the outside edges of the door. Okay. So yeah, you don't see anybody inside except him. Okay. And this appears to be like a like a maintenance room. Okay. So there's wires hanging everywhere, uh, piles of, of Tetra packs, plastic canisters. It's a bunch of garbage everywhere. Novus, you wanna back me up? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna move to this corner and just keep my eyes down the hallway. All right. Okay. So you keep an eye down that way, Austin. Uh, what's Ingrid doing? Is Callisto with us? Yes. She is? Okay. Is she just kind of hanging out beside you or what? Yeah. Okay. I'm All right. Hang out right here by the door. Okay. So, Hiroja and Novus, uh, you make it to the, um, the door. You see that guy slumped over. Appearing to be tied up with these these wires coming out of this uh, breach in the in the back wall. And as you get closer, you see that his entire front of his uh, his uh, shirt is just coated in blood. And you you kind of bend down, you look up, and he's got a massive hole right in the center of his forehead. Well, he's not going to be much help to us, at least. Well, he's dead. But uh, 
I tuck up near um, Novus and I turn the, the laptop in his lap so that we can both both can see what's on it. Is there anything on the laptop? No, nothing that you can tell. It looks just like it's it's broken. Like the screen has been shattered. It's beside him. You didn't really notice this. Uh, you kind of just got a really uh, cursory look of this room when you first um, approached. But yeah, it's just a busted laptop. It looks expensive, looks high end, but uh, again, the screen is smashed in. So Austin, you while you're standing there, the the little calm to the next of this um, this wall, this door, starts like really flickering. Okay, uh, I assume, because I ain't no dummy, that that's Aiko telling us something. Yeah, it, it's it's flashing with uh, it, very vigorously, as if you might discern as like, hey, somebody's coming. All right, well, it's, I just like stage whisper down, it's time to move. And like, kind of like, you know, I assume it's blinking into the dark. So like kind of gesture yeah, it's towards. Blinking. But as you're sitting here, yeah. um, you hear footsteps on the grating to the north. And it sounds as if somebody is just kind of walking across that corridor and then it recedes into the distance. And then she kind of like, you know, the, 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 the flashing calms down a bit. It steadies. Hearing his whisper, I like carefully, you know, approach the threshold of the door again. Okay. Looks like there's mm. nothing for us here, at least right now. Let's go. Yep. We, fast gonna, and hard, remember? Fast and hard. I'm going to grab the laptop. Okay. You take the laptop. And you guys are heading up north? Yep. Okay. As you guys make your way into the hallway, you hear that sound again. The footsteps on the very floor that you guys are standing on. And then you hear Does a door it... close. Did it sound like one pair of footsteps? Yeah. It sounded like one. Just move on carefully upward. Okay. So you guys are making it down this. You come to a T intersection. There's a door north. A door to uh, your right, to the east, and then a door, uh, a hallway leading into darkness to the west. Would we assume that the one leading to the uh, west is um, is the front of the sh ship, or am I? No, it's the other way around. It's the back of the ship, right? Uh, no, you would imagine that is the uh, the bridge. Yeah this direction okay yeah let's try and take the front of the ship maybe ingrid can uh, take a hold of everything if right. we secure it okay happy to try so you guys come to a door Uh, the the lighting doesn't seem to be unless it's supposed to be that dark. Where? Uh, at the front of the the area where we're at now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's where that's sort of where the door is, so you can't see through okay. it. And there's you see a little passage up here too. There's a little okay. doorway right here. Yeah. yeah. No, I just, I just noticed like the line of sight lightness went away. That's what I was. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, weird, because I have, like, my GM token in, and I can see the whole hallway. No. Is it completely dark for you? No, no, it's just, like, that shade like down. Like, darker gray, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying, yeah. It's fine if it doesn't matter right now. It's okay, just notice no. that. Um, yeah, let's take this. Let's, let's, let's go through. Let's go all the way. Okay, you try the door, and it is locked. I look at Austin. You want to talk to this thing again? 
oh yeah i'm not you're not you you're you so i can do this yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna <clears throat> i'm gonna try to talk to i'm gonna try to talk to the door talk to the door and see if it'll open for you yeah talk to the machine okay so you try that but again it's just pretty much all of this stuff is is so low power you can't command it whatsoever you do see though that there is a light flashing near the door very similar to the one that when you entered uh the one that alerted you of somebody coming by and novice while you're standing there you hear something coming in the direction behind you where that other door is closed uh this one or this, this one? one this one i'm gonna whisper behind us company so you guys it's, uh, it's dark gonna... enough in here where you guys could probably crouch down in the shadows or alcove of the you know okay even though you guys can see it's it's pretty damn dark in reality right so this door begins to hiss open you get a glimpse of something on the inside another room what are you guys doing i'm just gonna crouch and aim but like yeah try to get into the darkest part possible okay i'm gonna crouch as well okay so you see a man step out you can't quite make out his features he's a pretty big dude he's got like these um these braids hanging down and he's kind of turning his head left and right you hear him shift his weight. You see, hear like the clank of something as he's moving around and his footsteps. And he's heading into the darkness toward you. Uh, I'm going to pull my... Black Bladed Dirk. Okay. And... I guess slowly kind of like creep forward. So if he sees us, I, my goal is to just get a hand over his mouth and, and. Oh, you're going to try to grab him. Know. Okay. If, if, if he sees us, if he, if he starts to, to, to look like he, whatever, I want to immediately just leap and, and cover his mouth. So as he approaches, so pretty much novice and Haroje, like, you guys are going to be pretty damn visible any second now. So, because Austin's more toward the back of the corridor, what are you guys doing? Is this guy's literally almost upon you? My, yeah, go ahead. Oh no, you can go first. No, no, my my shotgun's like aimed up, like basically ready to like tilt up and fire from my crouch position. So okay, I'm all right. Try to. Maybe jump out, catch him off guard, visibly, you know, have the gun in his face to see if we can capture him. So you're going to just kind of like leap up to your feet with a gun pointed at his face kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, he kind of keeps moving forward. He's basically within touching distance. I'm assuming this is when you leap to your feet, right? Yes. Okay, and you're gonna just face him, or you're gonna try to move around him, or what's the plan? Like, grab gonna, him around the neck with a gun to the head, or just to the face? I'm gonna try to get be to his side and just have the gun up to his temple. If I okay. Can. Yeah, sure. So, um, I'll say you guys have the element of surprise. Like, he didn't anticipate you being here. It's pretty shadowy. He wasn't necessarily looking for people hiding in the shadow. So, you approach. You stand up. You put the cold steel of your, your gun against his temple, and he knows what's up because he immediately stops. And you hear a grunt. He just grunts like, Ugh. But he keeps his eyes forward, and he brings his hands up slowly. Hey, man, be cool, be cool. There's enough to go around for all of us. I'm going to slowly move behind him, but keep the barrel at his head. Okay, so you circle around behind him. Uh, and I'm going to push him to start walking forward towards Austin. Okay. So, yeah, he's got these, like, long dreads, like, just trailing down his back. 
but you have your uh, your gun right pressed up against his head. So he uh, he goes along with you. He pushes forward. He uh, he sees Austin. So I'll say like basically in the. Uh, can I show this here? In the darkness, where is this guy? You get a glimpse of what he looks like. He's right here. So you see this dude. If I could shrink this, it'd be easier. There we go. So yeah, you see this guy facing you, Austin. He doesn't look too happy. He doesn't look very afraid either. He's he's staring. He's giving you a dead stare right in the eyes, with his hands up. You see Novus behind him with a gun to his head. Ah, uh, more of you, huh? Like you said, there's plenty for all of us. Yeah. What are you looking for? Well, ahead, right now, we're looking to open this door. All right, mm. all right. I can help you with that. I'm going to whisper over to Hiroshi to close the door behind us over here, if he can. Okay. Because I have um, a bad feeling about that. Yeah, not a good idea. I will go over and close the door if I can. Yeah. So you head over there, you close the door. You don't hear anybody. I'm gonna I'm in front of grid and I see there's like a little bit of an alcove for that door, and I'm just gonna like kind of gesture her back into that alcove. Okay, so this one right here. Yeah, just like up in that space so that like this guy is, you know, I'm between her and him as he kind of comes around toward the door. Got it. Okay, so you lead him toward the door, Novus, presumably. He uh, pulls something off his belt. You can't quite see what it is. Key-like. And then he clicks it. It's like seems like it's an override of some sort. And then he uh, he's like, all right, it's unlocked. His hands are, he, he brings his hands still back up. Again. Open it. Okay, so he uh, reaches in and heaves it open. You guys come into what looks like a tactical station. So there's a center in the room. Uh, there's a or center in the room. In the center of the room is a table. Uh, it's this hexagon-shaped table. And there's uh, this kind of inter what looks like an interactive glass top. Obviously, it's off. Uh, and there's clusters of monitors all over it in, 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 in very different sizes. Uh, there's five chairs bolted to the floor. Uh, but you see these massive monitors sort of on the walls as well. Uh, only one of them is, is working. And there's just kind of this, or actually two of them are working. And they're just glowing. And there's another door over here. So this room's illuminated a little bit more. All right, I'm, I'm gonna shove him into the room farther. Okay, so you push him in against this table. Still has his hands up. It's gonna get some light. Oh, yeah, we can't see all the light. What do the, uh, the screens that, that are still on say, or uh, are they just flickering? They're kind of flickering. It's kind of showing like the, you see status of the, the spacecraft. It's kind of cycling through some things and glitching out and then going back again. And you do see actually, um, there is a, what you would imagine would be the indicator of where your ship is outside of this ship. Mm -hmm. right, uh, come on in. Yeah. You also see, as you guys move in, you see this massive cable just snaking across the floor, heading down here.
Yeah, I'd like to see where that goes. Um, I'm okay. use my, it seems like it's all black though. So I'm gonna use my flashlight. I, I yeah, the line of sight isn't shown. Okay, yeah, let me give you a, let me give you a little bit of a light here. Oh, okay, it's not bad. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so you move over there. It's another door. It appears as it's it's like um it's being it it has been attempted to be opened. There's a panel that's open, there's wires hanging out as if someone was trying to hack it open. Hmm. Does it still look active or does it is it like uh it looks like it's all been pulled out? Uh, no, I mean, it looks like somebody was trying to figure out what to do that did not know what they were doing. They were pretty clueless in regards to opening this door. I'd like to give it a shot. Okay. Yeah. So are you going to, uh, I'm gonna try and... do it? You're going to try to sit there and take your time and be careful with it. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to put my shotgun lean against the wall right next to me and kind of just get comfortable there. And it's like, I'm going to try and get this thing open, whatever it is. Okay. So you're starting, you're starting to work on that. Check the wires, check the paneling, all the stuff inside, all the guts of this thing, to try to get it open. Uh, what are the rest of you guys doing? I'm going to lead this guy farther in. Is this a chair right here? Yeah. I'm going to sit him down in the chair. Okay. So you sit him down in the chair and he immediately just starts laughing under his breath. <laughs> he shakes, What's his, funny, buddy? shakes his head. Oh, nothing. Nothing. You're here for the AI, huh? I'm here for something. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. So, what so about uh, you? who the fuck are you? Oh, I'm nobody. Just here, you know, searching, salvaging, scavenging. And uh, and how many nobodies you got with you, buddy? Oh, there's a few of us. Yeah. And I'll, I'll tell you what. They're going to notice I'm missing pretty soon here. I'm not too worried about that right now. Of course not. You look like you've taken a bullet or two. What's Double. another, right? What's another clip? <laughs> exactly. You know where I'm coming from. Did you guys close the door, Novus? I, I did, so. absolutely. You did? The okay, door cool. icon disappeared for me. Yeah, okay. So it's closed then. Okay. Okay. I'm going to check out this door. Ingrid, you head over to that door. Yeah. Can I listen? Yeah, you listen. You don't hear anything. But you smell plastic electronics and there's a there's kind of a warmth coming emanating from that door hmm. okay um Roger, are you going to try to open that door he's still opening he's still working on it he's, he's working taking on it's it? taking some time Okay, maybe I'll check this door to see if it's unlocked. Why don't you roll me a D4, Hiroje? Okay, so it won't be a tech check. Just no, no, no. I just, yeah, I just I just want you to roll a D4. Yeah, it's not a... Okay. Um, yeah. All right. All right. Uh, okay. Three. All right, so we got Novus guarding the door. We got Austin up north with uh, this guy sitting down. Ingrid's over to this other door and then uh, Hiroje is working on his stuff. So 
<clears throat> you think you almost got it, Hiroje. It's a little bit more work, and just as this is happening, Novus, you start to hear footsteps on the other side of this door. That that grating, the the grated the grated floor is just so loud. You hear bo boots clang, 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 clang. And they're not hurried or anything. No, no, no. They're just kind okay. of like a very casual pace. They get very close. And you hear muffled speech on the other side of the door. And then as this is happening, uh, the guy the guy you have um, in your custody, Austin, he starts chuckling under his breath. I'm going to take that key card or whatever from him, make okay. sure I have that. Yeah, you take it. Yeah. He hands it over. So you just have him su sat down in this chair. You have your yeah. gun on him or anything? Or are you just walk? Pistol in one hand, Dirk in the other. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Did we take his weapons? Did no. he have weapons? I don't think we really You never checked. Well, as I you look guys at check. Can't, you guys can. Yeah. So okay, you have your Dirk and your weapon pointed at him and you do see on his hip he has a pistol. Yeah. When I take the key card off him, I'll take that off him too. Okay. He kind of flinches when you take the weapon. All right, Hiroji, finally. You rewire everything successfully, and the door clicks unlocked. All right, I got it. So you open this door. Let me move this guy down here a little bit. So you see what appears to be a computer room. There's this soundproof padding all over the walls, and this, this room is completely white with these odd corners. And there's a flickering light inside, and there's screens with spectrographs just animating in different colors on these screens, representing sound waves. And um, it almost appeal, appears as if it's um, the sound wave of a vocal or, or of a voice. Aiko. Aiko. And then you hear that, you hear, yeah, you say that. Ah, you made it. You made it. Have you have you killed them all yet? Have you gotten revenge for me? Not quite, but we got it this far. Ah, okay. All right. Hmm. There is a red and silver CBM80 cartridge connected to the computer. I need you to take that. That is where I am. That's something in the room, correct? Correct. It's like in the middle of something. Yeah, there's like a there's a computer uh, in the room, and um, there's a cartridge sticking out of it. And oh. So this, yeah, you can see it. It's a it's a red cartridge sticking out mm -hmm. like a freaking eight track, and this room is so white that it's very easy to spot. Right. Okay, that sounds great. Now. Is there a way we can make their uh, movement in the ship even more difficult? Or mm. maybe even kill them, maybe remove air from some of the rooms or something? Hmm. Not that I know of. All okay. of the uh, life support systems are simultaneously in every room. Can't seem to figure out a way to I shut see. them down independently. Gotcha. But I will tell you this. There are three individuals just outside the room, the tactical room. They're getting closer. There is another searching the chamber near the med bay. All right, and that is, that's everyone else on the ship besides the one in the tactical room with us? Yes. So we got... Three and then one, so four, total five. Okay. And Novus, as you hear some kind of muffled chatter coming from the computer room, the door you're standing near starts to open. I'm going to ready my shotgun. 
and whisper back, company. I'm gonna quickly, I'm gonna say thanks, and I'm gonna quickly pull the, the dry the disc out and shove it in my coat. Okay. And and like pull my shotgun up and like rush out. Okay. So now that you have taken the AI, you've successfully gotten that, she is no longer connected to the ship. So she is yeah. on this cartridge, meaning she's she can't communicate with you, control anything or anything like that. Just so yeah. you know. Real quick. Yeah. Heltende gave us all a bless. Oh, Thank you, dang. Thank you. I feel like we're going to need it right now. <laughs> all right. Let me. Uh, I have my weapon dropped. You guys can think well. about what you'd like to do while I find the overlay. Oh, I know. I, I know exactly what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to loud whisper to basically everyone in the room. Loud whisper. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, there's five total pirates in here. Door is literally opening. Yeah. Yeah, it's slowly yeah. opening. I thought it was a swoosh door. Yeah, but it's like it's not like um, it's it, it's like a yeah. It's like a it's like a shitty uh you know mechanical sliding door that's that's like on its rails is not so gotcha. hot. So. <laughs> Okay, I'm updating you guys. Do you there. tell us that there's three right outside the door, like when you come in as the door opens? Or <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll do like three fingers at that door, but like five total. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, as soon four. as I, as soon as he does a three finger thing, oh, the door starts okay. To what does that mean? Yeah. Is that like the shocker? Um, oh God. Yeah. It will be shocking. I give him <laughs> one of these, like an okay. <laughs> Right, and then I pull my pistol, put it up to this guy's head, and just shoot him right in the head. Oh shit! Okay, point right. blank, right to the side of his head. Bullet done. Okay, so as all of this is happening, Hiroje walks in. He whispers to you guys, pointing at that door. You see him. The door like, starts to open. The door is slowly opening, and Austin, you pull the trigger. I and literally just blow go. this guy's fucking brains across yep. the wall. Yep. And he uh, he slumps. He's gone. Dead. There we go. Okay, so Novus, uh, this door opens, and you see a man standing there, shirtless, bald, and he is just, he has a, uh, a pistol ready. I'm going to fire right away. And you guys, yeah, you see his, he just has this look of shock, and he's slowly bringing up his weapon, and okay, so let us get into combat here. Let's change to combat sound though. Combat music. Let's get grab. All right. Okay. So you fire. Uh, why don't you give me a um, a tech check and let's see what happens. Sweet. And his. Uh, let's see what is his stats here. His defense rating is only twelve. Do I have... And you're basically points. point blank, right? Or did you back up a little bit as you saw him slide the door open? Uh, I'd be, I'm point blank. Okay. I didn't back up. And I'm going to give you... Uh, I'll give you advantage on this roll. Oh, sweet. Because you caught him unaware. Uh, Okay, unfortunately, something about the darkness, the backlight, something. You you got paranoid, you, you, and you pull the trigger, and you see a spark as your, your bullet just ricochets down the hall, and you hear this yelp. Uh -oh. Okay, so who wants to go next? You get to, Remember, you get to choose who goes next. Oh. So let me uh, write an initiative thing. Was that with advantage? That was with advantage. He had the, yeah, he just. Um, five and a one. Yeah, he, he didn't, he wasn't expecting that. So, I know, five and a one. You got a void point though. And remember, um, you got you can always uh, use those for advantage in the future. You can also try to do a risky shot too, to get, okay. I believe it's double damage. Can I move after attack? Yeah, you can. I'm going to go back to this corner right here. 
Yeah, so you shoot, you miss, the guy's bringing his gun up, and then he kind of just flinches and ducks to the ground, almost loses his grip on his pistol. So who do you want to go next? Um, I'm going to say Ingrid. All right, Ingrid, uh, you see this uh, unfold across the room. Ducky's backing up, taking a fire. You see this guy standing in the doorway. Mm-hmm. What do you want to do? Um... So do I have a clear shot if I like come to here? Do I have to go? No, this is a table. So you can shoot right over this table. In fact, if you want to take partial cover, you could crouch down behind that table and get, you know, when they shoot at you, you get disadvantaged. I would encourage Uh, you guys to use the environment to your advantage. Yeah, I would like to crouch and like steady the gun on the table and try to get this guy. All right. So give me a tech check. And his uh, defense rating is a 12. Okay. Tech check. Oh, wait, I can use... Wait, do I have any void points? You look like you do. So I can use void, hey, void points for... Um, you have two void points. Can I use it for, like, advantage or something? Exactly, and that's exactly what you use for. Okay, I think I'll do it. Okay, so just make sure to tick it. Do you want to do a risky attack? And that just makes neutralizes it, but is double damage. <clears throat> yeah, but if you miss, okay. um, if you I miss, get- uh, they get an immediate counterattack. Oh. So you'll you don't have to do risky damage with the void point, right? No, you don't have to. I'm just asking because she may not remember like her options. Yeah. So, yeah, risky attack. Basically, if you succeed, uh, you deal an extra damage die, so double damage in that regard. Or if it fails, they get an extra attack. They get like an immediate counterattack. Okay. Oh, and they also get to choose who acts next in the round. That's pretty cool, too. I'm not going to do a risky attack. And his DR is 12, you say? Correct. So you want to use a void point, though? Yeah. Ah, frick. I didn't even need it. You hit. Okay. So I you, uh. Risked. Oh, well. You catch Wait, this guy. You... What are you hitting with? A pistol. Isn't it pistol D6? They're D6. Oh, they are? Mm hmm. That's weird. I don't know why it rolled a D4. Oh, my pistol is listed as 1d4. Maybe some. Maybe of them you guys are. pulled something different and they're they're definitely d6. Yeah, that's weird. The regular pistol? Yeah. Huh. All right, so you, I... you, you graze this guy's shoulder and a spray of blood erupts and splatters the side of his head. But should she, I mean. Yeah, just roll, I mean... roll a d6. I don't care. Okay. Did he die? No? Okay. Well. <laughs> I don't know. Like, roll a d6. Let's find out. Okay. Oh, shit. He did? No, he didn't die, but this bullet goes far deeper than that. It hits him, like, embeds in his shoulder, and he just lurches back from the force. And he immediately drops his gun, holding his wounded shoulder, and starts to kind of scurry back into the hallway behind him. So do you want to... um, move or do you want to just choose who uh, goes next i i guess i could move uh yeah maybe i'll come over here and i will choose let's see. the dog well remember you can um if you want to take like partial cover here while you're or, shooting any attacks well, against shot. you'll be disadvantaged Okay, so yeah, I, what I'm saying is like, yeah, you kind of moved I out of could cover. could run back and forth. Oh, isn't this cover here? I mean, if somebody walks in here, it's not cover. Okay, all right, all right. But I, I'm just saying, like, whatever you want to do, you can do whatever you want. But I'm just all right. Sure I'll you know. crouch down and do cover. Okay. And so. I will send it to Austin. All right, Austin, you are up. Question with the dog: Does that go on her turn, or is that something she picks? She can pick. It's a, like a separate individual. Okay. okay. Um. 
Now, at least from what I see on the map, I'm going to turn the music down because I feel like I'm screaming. <laughs> um, I look like, to me, that I'm in, like, darkness. Yeah, You're kind of, yeah so really the only lights in here are these screens that are... Exactly. So these are pretty shadowed. I mean, you can see in there. But mm -hmm. it's pretty dark. Like I said, the only light in this entire room is coming from these two screens. But someone that comes in the room might not see me, right? Yeah, maybe right. not. Yeah. Possibility. But if I if I do something now, they'll know where I am. Is the door open enough that I can hit this guy from here? Um, he. Uh, yeah, I'll say you could probably take a shot. Okay. Um, I'm not going to have any type of advantage for being in the dark, right? No. I'll just say right. it's a standard attack. Okay, well then I'm going to use a void, a void point. Okay. To, uh... Well, I got a whole nother pistol now. Um, who only had a couple, like, shotgun rounds? I know that we doled this me. out. That was me. Well, you're on the other side of the room now. Um, all right, I'm just gonna if I can shoot this guy. Okay, go uh, for with it. Uh, void point. Yeah. Dr. Twelve. Dr. Twelve. Use a void point. I don't feel like I need a risky attack. I feel like this guy probably doesn't have that much more hit points. Does he look messed he, up from yeah, that yeah, shot? Yeah, he looks messed up. You see, like, this is all yeah. happening right after Ingrid took a shot, tore a massive meat chunk out of his shoulder. Okay. One damage. So you hit one damage. You follow up with another shot. And he's looking, he like falls to his knees, but still starts crawling back. He is not quite dead yet. Would you like to do anything awesome. else? Um, not really. I want to stay in the dark off to the side here and I'll just let uh, Calypso go. Callisto. <laughs> Callisto. Callisto. Whatever. Oh, yeah. I need to bring her uh, yeah. token. Where is Why Callisto? Players. Callisto. So I'll just say she's by you. Okay. So what do you want Callisto to do? Uh, so this guy's not dead? Uh, no. You, you see him sort of receding back into the shadows, though. He's becoming harder and harder to see. Mm. It's by his butt. Yeah, I'm going to try to buy his butt. Oh, you're going to send Callisto into the darkness. Okay. Drag him back out. Bite Dra his butt. So you're going to try to do a, like a bite attack? Yeah. Which is a D4. Yeah, the bite attack's D4. I don't know why your pistol is D D4. That's weird. So, okay. So, yeah, you send Callisto. She bounds over the table, burying her, her teeth. So give me a roll. Okay. Give me a, um, just click the bite. And the this bite attack. There's 12, um, okay. Oh, oh what? No! What does that mean? I forget, are there critical failures in this? Uh, There's a critical nope. hit. Mm -hmm. I don't think there are. Oh, there, I don't see any, interesting. Definitely not. It should say on the roll, right? Because it's in yeah, the module. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's in the system. Miss, yeah. gain a void point. Okay, it misses. She gains a void point. All right, so you hear like a snap of jaws, but air. Oh, okay. Can she like move back? Yeah. To the light? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be you can move her back. Yeah. All right, so Callisto gets to say who's next. And the only person left, I think, is Haroje. Or if you want an enemy to go next. <laughs> uh, no. Hiroji goes next. <laughs> okay. Um, I, you know, I see Callisto try to do the thing. 
and I run and I vault over. I kind of do like a the vault and slide my ass on the on the table. <laughs> okay. To get to get kind of over doing here. like a max pain dive kind of. Thing. Yeah, 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 and you know, do a slide and get to the other to that side of the the table and like okay. get behind it. That's cool. Uh, and then uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna pull out my uh, pistol, prop it up against the table, and uh, is this guy the one that? Hold, oh, why is it not working? Uh, is this guy the one that's crawling away? Yeah, he's attempting okay. to crawl away. Yeah, it's not his turn Is there yet, anyone so else I can... I can see in the threshold? Like, do I see this person yet or not? Yeah, yeah. You see anybody you see in the hallway from where you are? Yeah. Okay. Focus fire. I see him. I see him crawling away. I don't think he's coming back anytime soon. I'd rather take out someone who's on their feet still. Um, so I'm gonna take a take a shot at her with my pistol. Okay. Yeah. So same. It's a dr12. Okay. Standard attack, <laughs> void point, anything like that? Uh, I don't have any void points. No. Uh, okay. Just uh, I could. I Remember, could, you guys uh, have blesses, right? I, yeah, I was gonna say I could bless it, uh, so maybe I'll bless it as well. Okay, so roll me a d4 and let's see what you get. Yeah. Nice, a okay, two. two. All right, all right. So, pistol so back to zero. Just gotta do attack. Okay. Oh, and actually, you know what you want to do is why don't you take the dr down to ten, so it'll auto calculate. Okay. Because if it's that's 12, good. it's not going to know about the blast. All right. Okay. So normal. That's it. Great. And let's go. No. What? Oh, no. Oh, one. Holy shit. Okay. So. Do I have to roll condition or is that only on a hit? Uh, I think that's only on a. I think that's at the end of combat, right? If there's any critical fails. What the hell was that rule anyway? Is um, it max damage? Oh, maybe that's what it was. After combat, roll 1d6 for each used weapon. On a 1, it loses one condition. Um, yeah. yeah, so that's 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 the very end. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Yeah, it's when the dust settles. Okay, yeah. so you fire this thing. Uh, just something about the blinding light and the monitors contrasting with the dark hallway. You can't quite get a good yeah. shot. So who would you like to go next? It's... It's villains now, right? Villains, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's let Blondie go. Okay. Yeah, the one uh, that I was shooting at. Yeah. All right. Are you in partial cover? Uh, yeah, I'm like behind the, like I'm, my head's just poking over the table if I can. Got it. My, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, of course. Okay, so yeah. she. I don't know uh, my hands over the table like that. They're in the. Yeah. So she kind of leans to the side, brandishing her pistol, pointing it forward right over this guy's head and takes a shot. So what is your uh, DR? It is... She's got disadvantage. Yeah, it's uh, 13. 13, okay. So she takes a shot and... Oh, oh boy. wow. Deadeye, man. Something about like you guys being illuminated, maybe, but she sees it, fires, and you take four points of damage. Oof. That's half of me. Okay. Um, geez, that was a lucky-ass shot. It's two I don't, I don't see my HP bar on the actual uh, uh, set. Hang on. I mean, me... I see it on my character sheet, obviously, just as a I probably... Number, uh... Hang on. Let me make sure here. Resources, there we go. Hit points, void points. Uh, always for everyone. There we go. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Oh, yep. your name's not on there either. Hang on. I guess it's not that big of a deal, but I'll just fix it right now. Yeah, it's okay. I was just worried about the HP not showing. Okay, all right. So um, she is going to choose this guy to go next. And I'm going to see what he is feeling like. Okay, this guy, he is just invigorated oh. for some reason. He sees the shot that his partner took, saw the success, 
and he uh, he re he scoops his gun up from beside him and takes a shot at um, Ingrid. Or actually, no, screw that. He takes a shot at Callisto. Because that's she's the last one who uh, went for him. So um, Callisto is not behind cover. What is her uh, DR? Is it just 12? Probably, right? Let's see. Yeah. No, it's 13. Uh, okay. Oh, where, where do you see that? If you double click on the character sheet. Oh, I see, I see. <clears throat> Miss. All right, so he misses. And he is going to choose... Actually, she's going to also... No, she's going to stay there. He's going to start moving back a little bit. He's going to start dragging his ass back into the shadows. Uh, another guy steps forward. And then there's somebody else. I got to move. Okay. So all of them have gone. So um, I will pick uh, Austin. All right. I'm going to step out just till I can see this guy, the wounded guy that I shot at. Yep. Can I just get a clear shot from here? Uh, I don't know. Do you have a line of sight? See. And it doesn't matter. Yeah, if you, yeah. you can just move. Yeah, yeah, you can shoot. So you take a shot. Yeah, um, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot that guy. Always go for the wounded guy. I'm gonna um, give you. I'm gonna give you advantage because he's not doing so hot. Oh, dope. Okay. Um. So I will. So he's dr12. So I'm just gonna click advantage. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to risky attack it. Dang. Bro, what the fuck is going on? I should have blessed it. I completely forgot I had blesses. Yeah. Okay, unfortunately, you let off another round, and it just ching, ricochets down the okay. corridor, sparking. Well, I'm going to go back into the darkness. Okay. All right, who would you like to go next? Uh, let's go Novus. Okay, Novus, what would you like to do? All right, I'm um, basically gonna do the same thing. Step out into the middle. Um, I'm gonna bless this. Go for uh, it. I'm gonna shoot with my shotgun. Oh, so remember with this gun, if you hit, you can choose to distribute the damage. Sweet. It's like 2d4, oh, I think, and you can say like, as long as they're adjacent, <laughs> you can spread the damage, kind of like a double barrel blast, I guess. If I do a risky attack, can I bless it as well? Uh, yeah. Sweet. Why not? So you're going to bless. You got two. Let me remove your bless. Don't forget. And who are you attacking? Uh, I'm going to attack uh, her up front. Okay. And then I guess if you, if you hit, you might want to spread your damage up to you. So that would make the DR 10. Uh, yeah. DR 10. Risky attack, so you'll do, dang, you'll do double damage if you hit. You're going to blow some shit up. Can I also use a void point on top of that? Uh, I don't, let's see. Oh, there's anything that says you can. Yeah, I don't see why not. So you can get. You don't, you're not advantage. getting the advantage that I got. Is he getting the same advantage that I got? Uh, he's hitting the woman. He's going for the woman. Oh. I give you advantage because that guy's basically crawling on the floor. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see that you can't, so why not? Sweet. Uh, all right, fingers crossed. There we go. Holy shit. Ooh. Dang, 12 damage, so what did you get? A 5, 2d4, 2d4. So do you want to split this damage, or do you want it all to go to her? Um, I think I'm going to split it up. Okay. Uh, so I'll have the seven go to her. Yep. And the five go to the. This guy? Um, yeah. Okay. Dang. Okay, so you uh, unload into this hall. How much was it once? Seven on her and five on him? 
Yeah. And she is like blown back. And she's so close to this dude. She like bumps right into him. Almost loses her weapon. Actually, I'm going to roll her morale and see what happens. Actually, on her turn, I'll do it. Um, okay. What what else do you want to do? They're still standing, but they look fucked up. Um, I'm going to move back into the corner. Okay. Who do you want to go next? I'm going to have Callisto go next. Okay. What do you want Callisto to do, Ingrid? Um... As Nova's just lit up this hallway with his shotgun. Yeah. Okay, she's gonna... I guess the girl's the closest, so she's gonna try to bite attack the girl. Okay, so she's gonna dash into the dark hallway and try to bite? Okay. Yeah. So, okay, just a stan nice. standard 12 difficulty rating, or defense rating, whatever it's called, I forget. Oh wait, she has a void point. Should I use it? Yeah, well, I'll use yeah. It. Why not? Advantage. If you miss, you get it right you back. You can also use a bless, one of your blesses for her if you want. Since she doesn't have her own. True. Um, I'll leave it at the void point for now. Okay. Ah. Dang. Blessed. Oof. Ooh, you need a duckies roll that round. Okay, so again, she snaps. You hear her jaws snap into air dang it okay she retreats but you hear a yelp okay so she retreats back who do you want to go next i guess hiroje or you you or hiroje are the only two who haven't gone yet yeah maybe i'll go next just because i see my dog fail and i'm feeling like i gotta defend her okay um can i see this woman from where i am yeah <clears throat> she's in it's so like it's a aim. dark hallway but yeah you can see okay i'm going to try to shoot her go for it don't forget it's a d6 with your pistol yeah are you using uh, a void point or anything uh yeah i'll use them i'll use it okay let's go Wow. Even with and advantage. We suck. That was wow. awful. The dice are not in our favor tonight. No kidding. All right. I'm going to duck down. Okay. The roll fails. So you roll. You failed with a void point, meaning you need to, uh, oh, to roll, roll a 1d6 if the result is equal to or lower than the current amount after the spend. So what do you got? How many do you have right now? Zero. I think I had two, and I've used them both. Why didn't it take it away, I wonder? Oh. Because um, she failed, so it gave one right back. Oh, uh, okay. So you spent it. You were at one. So you can't roll less than a one, so it's fine. You don't need to roll. Who do you want to go? Oh, I guess Hiroje is the last one. Or an enemy. Ingrid? Oh, was that a question? Yeah. Definitely Hiroje. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, Hiroje. What would you like to do? All right, I got one more. Um, I got one more in the chamber of the pistol. Okay. No, I'm going to make my... I, I guess I could still see her in the uh, in the hallway. Yeah, you can see him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm going to take another shot. At her? Or him? At or... her, yeah. Okay. Uh, at her, at her, yeah. Go for it. Okay. And I'm going to use a void point. Okay. Void point should automatically do advantage, right? Yeah, I think okay. so. Yeah. And it's a, D, it's a DR12? Yep. Okay. So DR12, void point, all right. And... Hopefully it auto does it. Yeah, I think it did last time. Let's see. Okay. I did. No, no. Okay, hold on. Let's roll a d20 just clean then. And see. Yeah, we'll see what you get. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Okay, so how many... Uh, you got zero now, right? 
Yeah, you got zero oh, void yeah. points. Well, now I'm at one, right? Because I... I think... Didn't we determine you can't gain a void point when you use a void point on a failure? Oh, okay. Isn't that right? Okay. That's, if that's the case... I then, think it uh, was. Then I'm at zero, yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it didn't get. Yeah, me no, no void point yeah. is gained for a failed roll. So okay. yeah, I'm at zero. Okay, all right. Who would you like to go next? Um, now it's the baddies, right? It's the baddies. Uh, I'm gonna hand it over to. Uh, or can I move before I hand it over? Yeah, you can move. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just go right out of view. Go into these computer. Like, join Austin over here, maybe by the dead guy. Okay. And then I'll hand it over to the the guy who was crawling away. Okay. All right. I'm going to make him roll. Wow. Okay. So he uh, he takes aim, bleeding, almost dead. And he takes a shot at, who can he, he can only hit Ingrid. So he shoots for Ingrid, who is behind cover, right? Yes. Okay, so he is going to have disadvantage on this roll. Actually, he's going to do a risky attack. Oh. So he misses, which means you get an automatic counterattack. All right, pistol. And this does not count toward any, any of your turns. This is in the free attack. All right, so give me a roll. You're going to shoot right back at him. Um, but then you also get to choose who goes next. Not that it really matters at this point. Dang, okay, miss again. Damn. So stupid. So who do you want to go? The the lady or the other guy you see down here? Mm, I guess the lady. All right, she's going to roll morale as well. Wow, these guys just do not give up. Um, all right, she's going to take a shot at you. Ingrid. I'm ducked back down again, if yeah. possible. <laughs> and what's your DR is 12, right? Uh, Defense rating? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Defense rating plus, plus dex, or is that also minus No, dex? your defense rating should be on your character. I'll just look. Well, it's 12 yeah. plus it's, dex. It's uh, 12. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, you're... Yeah, so it should, should be, be like 10. 10. Is that also minus dex? Yeah, it should yeah. be 10. Okay, then it's 10. Oh, okay. She hit anyone. Oh, wait, no, she missed. But she hit, because she got an 11. So I'll just roll this. Okay, you take four for pistol. Okay. We gotta start hitting or we're gonna die. Yeah. Yep. Okay, she's going to choose this guy. This guy also is, um, he's pretty frazzled, so he's going to roll. Man, these guys just keep standing firm. Okay. So he actually is going to move out, peek through, and take a shot at Novus. Are you just a 12, Novus? Um, so if it's... 12 plus dex, I'm 14 then. Oh, shit. I hope we got that right. It is. It's right on the character sheet. Okay. Dang, he still hits you. Okay. He charges into this room, takes off a shot, grazes you for one point. And he's going to choose this other person who's running, but she's way far behind. Okay. So... I will choose Callisto. Man, you are in stop motion, Jess. I wonder what's up with that. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. I probably need to restart my computer or something. Um, you can hear me all right, though, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, I guess I'm going to try to bite this guy while Callisto is. <laughs> all right. So, DR12, just roll me an attack. Okay. I think she's got void points and stuff, right? So, you can use that if you want. Well, she used a void point and missed last time. So, she got none. Is that right? Oh, she doesn't get void points, it looks like. I just looked at her character sheet. Oh. Okay. 
Dang. Okay. So she snaps. He like dodges out of the way again and she bites right where his neck used to be. Mm, all right. Who do you want to go next? It's the top of the order again, pretty much. Yep. Is that right? Um, Novus is right there. I guess Novus. Okay, Novus. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to pop back out and... Let's see. Do I have ammo still? Okay, I, I'm going to fire my last shotgun show. Okay. Are you going to use a void point or a bless or anything? I don't think I have... Any blesses left, or? I think you have one, unless I forgot. I think I only had one, so I should be at zero. Really? Okay. I'm not sure. Uh, but I don't have any void points, so just normal attack. All right. Not risky. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Risky really? Attack. Okay. Fuck it. Was okay. So who are you shooting at? This guy? Yeah. All right. So you blast right over his shoulder. He blasts right back. Oh. 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 Dang. Oh. Hits you for five. So what happens when I go to zero? Oh, shit. You got to roll yeah. a... Where is it? Where's death at? Death and healing. Um, zero or less, you are dying and must be immediately roll a body check. And you can use void points if you have any for advantage. If you're successful, they're stabilized. If the check fails, you are dead. What's the DR for the body check? Just 12. Just 12? Yeah. Of course, I have plus zero. You have a void point. Oh, that does. All right, I'll use a void point for that. Yeah, I would use it for this for sure. So if I click on body, does that use the void point as well? Or it should I, uh, bring up a thing that says void point, which should auto click advantage. Yeah, go. but it, it it hasn't been doing an advantage. So yeah, so make sure to take advantage. advantage. Yeah. All right. Oh, no. what? Wow. Dang! So you fire this thing off. How does how does Novus go down? Uh, the the hole on the top of his head gets bigger. Oh man! Okay, you collapse to the ground. Holy shit! Okay. Um. Oh, my boy. There's no ammo left in your shotgun, huh? No. I do have Dang. a pistol on me though. This is brutal. Yeah, well, if we could hit any of the shots, all these three of these motherfuckers would be dead. They're literally yeah, they're like, almost dead. on the cusp. Yeah. All right, who's next, Novus? Yeah, who's next, Novus? Uh, Austin, avenge me, please. Did we ever but figure you to, out if you have to roll your uh, what you see? No. Oh yeah, your true oh. death. That's right. Yeah. Is that just a d20? Yeah, d20. So what did you two. get? Even. what is it a two? two yeah all right so um as your head explodes at point blake range you see a vision you drink a strange fluid from an old fancy cognac bottle cognac the fluid does not conform itself to the boundaries of your flesh and creates a fluid shaped hole through your body that's fucking weird so that was your uh that's your true death apparently i could see it <laughs> So, who do you want to go next? Uh, uh, did did we? Is there a rule in here that I can use two weapons, but one like? Yeah, basically, it's, I was using the Merc Borg Where rules. Is that? It, there's no, it's not a rule. I just made it up. It's basically oh. the fake Merc Borg thing where uh, the DR is whatever half the damage is. So, if you're using a pistol, it'd be like three more DR to attack with the offhand. Okay, well, I'm gonna do I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna void point this first guy with a pistol. Okay. Uh, actually, is the raid rifle is that two handed? Um, I would assume so. A a yeah, if it's a rifle, I would assume it's yeah. you got to hold it like with two hands. Yeah. Yeah, so I can only fire that if I don't have. 
thing. Okay. Um, well then, yeah, I'm gonna shoot at this guy with a void point with a pistol. This guy? Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna bless it. Okay. So let me roll the d4 first and then just take that off the dr. Dope. 11. Use a void point for advantage. I'm gonna attack this guy. Okay. Four points of damage. Hit. Four points of damage. How does he go down? He's done. Uh, as he's like, I mean, he just shot right at Novus, right? Yeah. He's, Novus' body is basically falling while you're taking this shot. Yeah. Basically, like, yeah, my I see Novus looks like right in the head and just start dropping and everything goes slow-mo, you know, and I'm two pistols out and there's just this, like, sound as I'm, like, screaming and I just, like, pull one up and, like, fire slow mo just like like right through the guy's head okay and then i'm going to uh roll forward in my rage pull up the second pistol okay now it's a second attack so do i get to void point this one too why not sure so i'm gonna shoot uh i'm gonna shoot the girl i'm gonna void point can't bless it uh, what's the DR on this, though? It goes 12. up by three. Oh, yeah, so it'd be 15. All right. I void point for that. Um, let's see what we got here. Dang. Five points on her. Okay, so how does she go down? Same. I mean, same. Like, she's just, like, you know, standing there, and it just goes right through the front of her forehead, and you just see the whole, like, kind of, like, you know, appear and then the slow motion kind of ends and like the blood starts to like trickle down and she just drops. Okay. And then I'm going to tuck back into the darkness. Who do you want to go next? Hiroje or Um. Uh, let's go with Grid. I feel like she's got a better straight shot. Okay. So this poor guy is way back here. Is that who you're going to go for? And you poor see guy. some movement even behind him. Coming God. forward. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go for him. I can't. Can I see him from where I am? Can I aim at him? Yeah. Okay. Both both Novus and this guy are on the ground in heaps. Okay. So it's a clear shot. All right. Do you want to uh, use? You have two blesses, by the way. I think. Yeah. I think and I'm void gonna, points. Yeah. I don't think I have any more void points, right? Yeah, it auto-calculates like when you miss. You're up you to three. three. Oh. I guess it happens a lot. Um, okay. Yeah, every I... time you miss, you get another one. Okay, I'm going to... try to hit this guy with a void point um, and bless it. Okay. Roll me a bless first. I guess it doesn't matter. Well, oh, first? Okay. Yeah, we always roll blesses first. Well, I called it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so one. Okay, you hit. All right, so one, three damage. All right, how does this guy go down? Oh, frick yeah. Um, uh, he just gets shot in the back of the head and like falls to his knees and then oh, straight on his face. Okay, you want Hiroji to go next? Yes. Okay, Hiroje, what would you like to do? I'm going to, uh, well, for, yeah. Just gonna move uh, right up. Does this, uh, what what gun did this guy have? Pistol. Did he have a pistol? Or, okay. Yeah. Um, Looks like he's got two shots left. All right. And the the sound of footsteps is the only thing we can hear. We don't see anything down the hall, right? You can f f vaguely see somebody moving down the hall. Yeah, one person. Okay. But like I said, all this is happening simultaneously. So. Right. Right. I'm going to uh, grab the gun, the pistol, and then huddle up against um, the doorway. Okay. And shout, shout down the doorway. 
The other four are dead. You're the only one left. And there's plenty of us. Okay. Slide your gun down the hall. Okay. There's a moment of silence. Novus's body kind of shifts in death. And you hear something slide toward you down the hall. And then you hear feet just running away. And you see a pistol kind of um, hit <laughs> hit one of these dead bodies and kind of spin around and land right at the door. All right, I think the hallway is clear. And, hallway um, is clear. Yeah, I'll go out and grab that. Uh, yeah, I'll grab that pistol as well. Oh, maybe I'll just grab the. How many shots did the pistol that the guy had have? Uh, that one had two. Okay. Um, then I guess I'll just get the ammo from the other yeah, one. Yeah, hers has three. His has okay. three. So six, seven, eight. Okay, so I'll fill up a clip so that I have... Yeah, I think you can only have five in a clip, right? Yeah, you can only have five. Okay. And I'll just switch guns so that I have, like, full conditions. Okay, on and then hers, yeah. uh, the one that was slid down the corridor, that has five. Okay, so I'll just take hers then and switch it out for mine that had, like, no ammo and two of three conditions. So. Okay, so the dust settles, everybody. Novus has fallen. The only sound is the static hiss of the flickering monitors around you and i think we need to roll the uh, condition loss um so everybody roll a 1d6 for every single weapon and if you did get a one i believe everybody i think austin's the only one who used two weapons right okay nothing oh Ooh. austin okay so condition reduced by one this is even if you didn't hit anything right uh correct yeah i believe okay. it's um yeah any used weapon all right so it's gonna be for the the Three. gun that i dropped then. yeah 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 okay did you have any extra ammo left over after you filled up what you had uh so what i did was since that new person's gun was like full ammo and everything i just dropped one gun and grabbed the, the full one uh so there's, and there's a, still yeah. There's ammo in some of those guns that aren't picked up. Oh yeah, like I didn't loot up the other guns. I just filled up my clip and and you know, I haven't picked up the other ones. So uh, yeah, there's just I just picked up one gun, the rest is still there with ammo and everything. Yeah. What was the total for the other guys? The other ones after the 5, 2 and 3? Yeah, 2 and 3. So it was, let's see, 3 just, 5 yeah. 7 8 9 so nine pieces of ammo total plus five from the one who ran away. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well then, yeah. yeah, I took three. So 14, I guess. Yeah. And then the one I okay, threw well then, has nothing. Yeah. So. Gotcha. Well then I got three full pistols. What do you have grid as far as guns? You only uh, used a pistol, right? Yeah. I have two pistols. Um, one is empty, one only has two out of five rounds. Okay, well then I'll just, I mean, you can just take the, um, five full rounds. So I'll just empty one whole thing of ammo. So I have two full and you should have two full. Okay. Or you should have one full and then an extra two on top of that. Okay. And then yeah. I'm gonna go, you know, kneel over Novus and look back at Grid and say, I guess we're the, we're the only ones left from the start. Southerners. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't mess with Texas. Right, we rise again. <laughs> At least we got what we came for. And I I hold up the the little red like disc and the cartridge, yeah. So yeah. the yeah. cartridge, yeah. And, okay, uh, so you have, but at, but at what cost? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, but like for real though, what the f like? 
That was terrible. You guys just had some terrible, terrible roles. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, and like, they had good roles. Like, they had really good roles. Yeah. It's a fuck. Like, who the fuck cares about this AI? Like, we lost Novus for what? Like, some little yeah. silver box? I know. I feel like it's my fault. <laughs> we all missed real bad. Like, we all missed real bad. <laughs> so yeah. what? I mean, what are we do? What are we even doing now? Well. We have this ship to ourselves besides, uh, wait a minute. There's somebody hiding somewhere. They're not, they might not be hiding though. We should probably yeah, we... sure the ship is secure. Yeah, a uh, couple things about that battle too. Here's the thing. Always hit the injured guy. Because even if they're barely hanging on, they can still shoot a gun, right? Right. So if even if you hit it, even if you max out on your shot, who you shoot him right in the face, that's one less guy shooting back at us. Just throwing it out there, just experience from getting shot thirteen times. I could have avoided like four or five of them shots if you if you take out the wounded guy because they're, right. they're, they're always right. gonna fire one right. last shot. That's all I'm saying. I get it. I get it. I I oh underestimate uh, underestimated him. That's all. I'm sorry. Yes. Now we got a we got a hunt for this thing just to get out of the ship. Make sure she's not sitting around in a corner with another gun. I have a feeling uh, we should be okay, but it's in our favor. Maybe we should recollect back at the ship. And make sure she hasn't hidden herself there. We still have uh, what's her name in there too. Oh yeah, it was what's her name. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> the woman who uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, provided fuel. But I, I say we just get the fuck out of here. I don't think there's anything worth it on this ship left over. These guys probably ransacked it. Yeah, I mean, you guys could always leave and then come back and check it out later. It's up to you. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing left for us here. It's been a, it's been a rough go. It's probably better that we do, yeah. Okay. I'm sure this AI is worth something. So you guys All right. gather your uh, your AI cartridge. Are you taking Novus yeah. or just leaving him? Yeah, I'll take Novus. Okay. When I checked this door earlier, did it give it all? Uh, yeah, you can. I mean, I, I think you just listened. I don't think you tried to open it. Um, I was going to. Okay. <laughs> you can try, yeah. All right, you open it and you see this is the bridge. Is there anything interesting? Oh, it's supposed to be locked. Oh, well. Um, oh. Yeah, you see, like, um, it's a very compact bridge. There's a low ceiling. You smell that, that, like I said, it smells like plastic and electronics. It's much stronger now. There's two seats up front, pretty much what you see, these control panels. Um, but you do see um, on one of these consoles up here let me move my guy in here you see on the readout something blinking uh hey guys i'm just gonna go check this out real quick and i'm gonna check it out okay so you go over there and look, and you do see that it is tracking some kind of um, spacecraft heading toward this ship. Hmm. Is that all it shows me? Yeah. I can't, like, tell what kind of, how far away it is. No, you just see something approaching, yeah. All right. I'm going to kind of jog back. There's another spacecraft approaching us. I think we should probably figure out what we're gonna do. Yeah, that I think we like get the. Company. Yeah. Yeah, I think we get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are just so gonna head run all straight the way back. back to your ship. You guys don't need to run back. I yeah. can just switch you back to your yeah. ship. So, uh, with Novus's dead body in tow, you guys. Make it back to your ship. And I think this is where we're going to end tonight's session, everybody. 
So unfortunately, Novus yeah. did not make it. The crew retreats back to their ship with uh, his death weighing heavy on them. We'll and, dispose uh, of his body later. Metaphorically, they Ooh. have the red cassette of the artificial intelligence that they procured, which may be quite valuable. We shall see. So anything you guys want to do or say before we shut it down? Do we want to do XP real quick so we don't forget yeah, before yeah, next time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do XP. Let's do XP. Yeah. So... Did you repair something? Not yet. Did you deliver on a dangerous contract? No. Did you use at least one void? Yeah, you guys used void points. Think, all think over the all place. Did. Uh, did you discover a new and potentially dangerous place? No, same place. Did you gain a new enemy? I wouldn't say so, really. Uh, did you find someone new that you can trust? Not really. Did you contribute with something special, especially memorable? I don't know. Hey, Novus's shotgun shot was like the best roll. And yeah, <laughs> that was pretty that. cool. He was blowing shit yeah. up. He I, went down in a blaze of glory. I had my my roll in slow mo double kill. That's yeah. true. That's yeah, true. A double kill That's true. Too. All right. Why don't you take a point? Yeah, you avenged Novus. Let's say. Uh, yeah, that gets you a point. There we go. All, All right. right, everybody, that is uh, maybe the conclusion of Search and Salvage. We'll see what happens uh, next week. However, though, I'm going to run a special one shot for Dragon's Bane, which is a Kickstarter live right now uh, for Free League. It's their new. Um, I guess it came out in like 1982 in Sweden. It's it was their Dungeons and Dragons competitor. And they are uh, revitalizing. It's the 40th anniversary. Damn, that makes me feel old. And uh, uh, they are doing an English one and a Swedish version. And so they have provided the quick start rules. Uh, so we're going to play that next time. So tune in for they that. They recently updated them too. They we did. Like I know. I need, to, I need to scan them again. But uh, it is sort of a classic fantasy. Uh, they, they they coin it as Mirth and Mayhem. So we'll, we'll see how it is. But um, it's a short adventure. Um, one shot, I don't know, maybe two. We'll see how, how far it goes, but we're going to take a little bit of a break from Death in Space to see, um, try to push some more support their way. Not that they need it. They're already at like half a million dollars, but why not? Spread the word. Cool. Uh, well, thanks everybody for playing. Sorry, Novus. He, uh, he expired, unfortunately, but you know, it happens. We've had two deaths already and two adventures. It's crazy. But, um, thank you. Death in Space, Death in Space creators and community. Thank you, McGlintlock, for the awesome system that still works on Foundry 10.0, even though it's not updated yet, I don't think. And uh, Helium Kid Cannon, Solar Fields for uh, giving us the cool synth tracks to um, go along with this uh, these space adventures. And that's all I got. So are we going to raid, or are we just going to call it? Um... Let's see if there's uh well, why don't we go to the uh the old thank you screen? Thank you. All right, we will go to the thank you screen, which will display all of the awesome people who supported this episode. So don't forget next week on Thursday it'll be uh Dragon's Bane barring any kind of unforeseen issues that pop up. But uh keep an eye out for notifications on that. Thanks for hanging out with us. See ya.